Hi, I'm Debbie. Now, whatever project I'm sewing, you can guarantee that bias binding will be involved. The reason is I think it gives a really professional finish to things like bags, maybe homewares. This is a little pair of slippers to finish off and outline things like my apron. But if you're a quilter or a patch worker, then you'll be using an awful lot of bias tape to finish off and bind around the edges of your quilt. What I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to mitre the corner like this. This is how you do it. Open up your bias tape and line up the edge of the tape against the edge of your fabric. And I'm just going to fold over the end of my tape so it makes it neater when I come all the way around. And I'm going to sew straight down the crease mark down here, all the way through to the corner. Just before I get to the corner, I'll need to stop by about the same distance from the edge to the crease mark there. So that's around about a quarter of an inch. Do a back stitch to make sure those stitches don't come undone and then take your work out. Line up the second edges of the fabric so that you've got like a V shape in the centre there, making sure that's as square as you can make it. And then I'm going to sew down the second side from the edge here, again down that crease mark. Now when I finished, I'll simply turn over to the wrong side and when I get into the corner you can see I've got a nice sharp mitered point and that makes it look really nice and gives a very professional finish. Now when I'm sewing over onto the back of the fabric I normally use um, a hand stitch and use a slip stitch. So take your knot of your thread underneath the bias tape so you don't see it so that's nicely hidden away and then just catch the very edge of the fold of your fabric with the needle and thread and your second stitch will be just below the machine stitch line so you don't see the machine stitches. And this is actually quite quick and I do like to use a hand stitch with my bias tape because it's practically invisible and you don't see any top machine stitching. So use the same colour thread as smaller stitches as you have the patience to make. Smaller stitches will help your work to last longer and look neater and then just stitch all the way around but you can see already those tiny stitches are practically invisible. So there you go a nice neat right angle point to your mitered corners which is going to finish off any of your work to a professional standard.